Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go video and today we have some exciting news. Prayers have been answered, prayers have been ignored, and prayers have been deleted. Seriously. It also makes you have to re-log into Pokemon. Probably the 50th time I've had to enter my Gmail account thus far. So what exactly do we have in today's update of Pokemon Go? So I'm gonna go ahead and just go splat and show you guys everything that is like officially in the change log for Pokemon Go. I mean they're very vague about a couple things like minor text fixes and whatnot because there's a couple more things that aren't on the list. Um, so I'm gonna try and go through most of what I found from this. So yeah, of course, like always, guys, hope you're going to enjoy today's video. If you do, let me know a like rating down below. And don't forget, limited edition merch, link in the description. That competition and the uh, campaign is going to be over soon, so be sure to be involved. So one of the bigger parts of today's update is the new avatar customization. When you first created your avatar, you couldn't, you know, go ahead and change your stuff. I think the main reason they did this update is because a lot of people were kind of pissed off that they couldn't change their stuff, especially after, you know, level 5, you pick your team. And say if you'd picked uh, maybe, let's say, Team Valor, for example, and start walking around and in like yellow colors it doesn't really look or make sense so if you want to go ahead and customize your character you can go ahead in the bottom left go into this little menu down here that's now created and you've got your journal and your customize so you're gonna go ahead and hit customize and you can go ahead and change your guy up now I'm gonna take advantage of this and make sure my guy is repping some solid team instant colors boys you know what si complete side note and I don't know if this is just like a little bit of a theory right now but there's red for valor right there's yellow for instinct there's blue for mystic and then there's a random orange one Secret fourth team inbound? You can't change your pants to be yellow. This pisses me off. There we go. That is what I am talking about. Instant colors all around except the pants. You can't you can't make them yellow. Okay, so they've gone ahead and done a major rebalance on all of the moves within Pokemon Go. Uh, now, the key thing to take away from this is that Water Gun, aka Vaporeon, is nerfed. Can we just get a bless up? Because we literally asked for that two videos ago and we received. I'm going to have the new list of moves scroll through right now kind of quickly. Of course, there'll be a link in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourself. A full page of what the moves were and what they are now in terms of power and the DPS. All right, here's the big one. Here's like legit like a CBA with the game. Three-step glitch. A lot of people might know about it by now. What is it? Essentially, the Pokemon would have three steps saying they wouldn't go down to two or one like they originally was meant to be in. Like as a tracker, it's gone. It doesn't exist anymore. And they've just gone with the motto of just like, if it ain't f fixed, then let's delete it. Because it's still not fixed, and I don't know if they couldn't fix it or anything, but they just straight out deleted it. There is now no steps associated to the Pokemon. So, I guess, yeah, that's cool. Um, it just tells you that they're nearby. Good luck, have fun, really. And the thing that kind of, like, doesn't make sense as well is at the same time today, uh, the CEO of Niantic, John, I believe his name, John Hankey or something, pretty much went out and said that he doesn't like people using the sites like uh, Pokevision and whatnot to find Pokemon. I mean, honestly, get real, dude. The whole thing was made out of protest because you wouldn't fix the thing. And now people are using it because it is actually the only fun thing of the game, finding Pokemon. How am I meant to find Pokemon? Granted, don't really care about these Bellsprouts, but how am I meant to find them? How am I meant to find them, John? How? Alright, so one other thing as well, and I don't know what this really matters so much. I think this falls under minor text fixes, but uh, if you have a look at your Pokemon, they do, uh, you know, have a different bold or text font in front of their names. Looks better. That's cool, right? So remember when we asked for that feature that we wouldn't have to go ahead and manually transfer a bunch of Magikarps, like at the same time you have to, you know, go in and click each one individually? Well, now guess what? There's another button you have to press. So just have a look at this. This is it. I, say I want to start transferring Magikarp. I click on him. I click this new option here and I go transfer. Granted, you don't have to scroll down and have that map thing pop up, but it is very annoying and uh, you still can't do multiple, you know, trades. So Also, the egg screen looks a little different as well. Uh, it's now got like a progress bar to show you how close you are and the text is different. So there's that. Okay, so I just popped this incense and I want to show you some of the uh, bugs with the latest version that is out. Oh, how funny is that? I'm showing you bugs and I get a Weedle. That's, that's great. I didn't even mean to do that. All right, so as you can see here, we've got Weedle right here right now. Look at me. That's me on the screen. It's an inception. So yeah, anyway, we've got Weedle over here. Um, the Kerbal physics have been changed a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to try it out a little bit. It is a little different. It looks like Weedle's, the camera's pointed down a lot more. Um, I didn't really know that before, but I don't know. It just seems a little... Uh, more free, I guess you'd say. I don't know. People are saying the arc of it's different. Uh, but, thing is, you now don't get rewards, apparently. Uh, please don't catch. 
Please don't catch. That's going to catch now, isn't it? Well, I would have loved to have shown you, but uh, if you do a curveball and get a great, nice, or excellent throw, you now don't get XP rewards for it, but you always get the curve, which is 10 XP compared to the possible uh, 10, 50, and 100, I believe it is. So another feature that's been uh, updated to the game, aka deleted, uh, is uh, battery saver mode and uh, a lot of people used to use this to try and hatch a lot of eggs at once But there was a lot of glitches with it. It didn't work a lot of the time So for now it has been removed and was an undocumented change. You can't yeah, it's not there anymore Also some really cool thing as well. You now can't transfer um, Starred Pokemon see cannot transfer a favorite Pokemon. So it's like a little update also another side note They did update the achievements. So instead of them being just generic medals, they now have little uh, cool images next to them that's uh, great. That's uh, great. I really, I'm really glad that they're, you know, making sure the medals look good. But, 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 but that three step. How about that three step? Now the footage that follows on from this is actually recorded yesterday, and we didn't have the latest update of Pokemon Go on it. I just wanted to do this extra intro to make sure you guys include in with what's going on with the latest update. Alrighty, enjoy the rest of the episode, guys. Let's go catch more boys. Guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Go. Today we've got a pretty cool plan of what we're going to do in today's episode. We're going to go around and do some shopping and whatnot and see if we can find some Pokemon in the shopping center. Then we're going to head out to Forest Lakes, hopefully find us a bunch of Pikachus. And then we're going to go to the Kangaskhan Nest somewhere in Sunnybank and see if we can catch some more. Let's see how we go. This is a scam. I popped an incense. There's no Pokemon. I hide noodles in the bush. I hide noodles. Oh, I got him. Billy wants me to rent one of these out and catch Pokemon. All my dignity, everything, will be deleted if I do this. If we get 100,000 likes, maybe. Not today. I'll get the yellow duck one and I'll pull up the side up my deal. But I don't want to. Right, I found my hat. I found my little flame. This is meant for me. Quarter past happening, I believe is the expression. Dude, I'm gonna catch them all now. Alright, so we just put it on and uh, we're gonna get in a couple stairs. Let's people know that I'm a Pokemon boss. There's no Pokemon right now. I've popped my incense, there's nothing going on. How am I meant to catch them all? Putting some Spira up in here. We got this boys. Alright, so we're today we're having lunch, we're having schnitz. This is the most lit thing you can get in Australia. It's like chicken schnitzel wrapped with chips of a diet. That's the best. So Alright, so we just got back from the shops and there was seriously not much to go around. There was like a couple of Pidgeys, Rattatas, some Weedles, nothing much at all. But we did manage to score the Ash Catchem hat, so that means everything now is going to be hopefully better. Not too sure, but we're going to go catch some Kangaskhans and then some Pikachus. And hopefully get enough to get a Raichu in today's episode. We'll see how we go. So we've just arrived at the Kangaskhan nest and there's none here. So we're going to do a little bit of a stakeout and hopefully they show up soon. Alright, so the 20 minute stakeout for the Kangaskhan. Not very successful. In fact, apparently it seems that the nest has moved or something. And I saw this topic on Twitter, I think, about people talking about how nests can change between certain species and or like change completely. That is a bump and a half. But uh, yeah, no, so we're gonna come back, check around, we're gonna check out a couple of parks. We're hunting down this coughing right now. All right, completely missed out on coughing by a couple seconds, a little disappointing, but we're on the way to bigger and better things. There's an onyx nearby. Where is it? That way, yeah, to the left. I think my service provider took an L on that one. It came up on Billy's screen for a split second, but then it despawned right on top of him. Rough Pokemon day. I'm starting to think the hat isn't exactly the good luck charm for today's episode. But either way, we are on the way to Forest Lake. It's like nearly an hour drive out from where I live. So I tell you what, there better be some Pikachus or I'm gonna be pissed. Alrighty guys, the internet told me that this forest right here is home to many of Pikachus. Let's see if they lied to me. I read it on the internet, it must be true. Okay, this thing, this place is called Forest Lake. It's a lake, but it's the forest. Lake's on that side, forest's on this side. What's well, in a forest Pikachu. It's literally Viridian Forest. Either way, we're gonna get some good Ks on the eggs. You gotta 
search far and wide for the peak. <laughs> that we're not in the forest. It's not even the forest, huh? It's just a field. Let's go for a jog, it's fine. We're fine, let's be. Little Pidgey. Little Pidgey. It's fine, we're getting different types of forest Pokemon, but peak to where you're at, Ben. These ducks better watch out. There's a snake right here. Don't worry, ducks, I got you. I got you, ducks. He played himself. Don't worry, you're good. Saving the day. One action at a time. Psyduck's just trampling over this one. I don't know how I feel about this. Psyduck, you need to get out of there, buddy. You need to get out of there. Yeah, you don't see these swans. You got two little baby swans out there as well. I think we found an ibis nest. Although, we don't really want to catch an ibis. So it doesn't really help us much at all. So, no, nice to teach you guys. You guys looking for folks as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice, nice. Where are the Pikachu at? We have yeah, this Pikachu here. Oh, you guys um, know where they're at? There's heaps. There's only just, heaps here. Right yeah. at that bridge. Like today? Are you no, today? Not. Yeah, like we went around, we thought, because like apparently this is like place where Pikachu's are at. We can't even catch Pikachu's, there's none here. We got like pizza right Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? That's, I want one. Alrighty, level 400 to Toonie, just about. Not too bad at all. I think I need to catch one or two more after this and I can get myself a dragon out. So it's going to be ultra lit if I can do that. Here we go, ultra ball, let's go. Oh, look, the ducks are coming for my Dratini. No, go away. Alright, one, two, you got him. Nice. No Dratini for you guys. Not at all. Yeah, I have 21 candies at the moment. I can trade in two and I'll have 23. So one more Dratini and we have a dragon out. We were just talking about how we need one more Dratini. You wouldn't believe this. I'm going to open up right now. Dratini spawn on the lure. So, it's going to be the dragon air. Looks like we're going to be rolling with that 399. But uh, for now, we'll take the 173. Let's go. How'd that miss? There we go. All right, so, this is big things. Uh, I should get the evolution calculator out, but I think we're going to get like a 1200 dragon air off of it. So, with that capture, you got 24. All right, so I'm gonna transfer the one that we just caught because he was the lowest level of the lot. And there's the 399 at the top here. Um, now, I, I should try and do some EV calculations or IV calculations to see what he's at. But he seems pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and transfer these two other Dratinis over here. All right, so he's level 399 right now. I'm gonna go power him up once, and then, oh, he's, he's on the low side of the curve. I think we should wait. Honestly, guys, I'm here to explore the Pokedex. I'm probably gonna catch a high level one when I go to the Dratini nest anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and evolve this guy. Like, I just wanna see this. I wanna see a dragon now. I wanna see something. We came for Pikachus. We didn't find Pikachus, but we're gonna find ourselves a dragon. Let's have a look at this beautiful Pokemon. Here we go. And, oh, it's so cool, man. I just wish it was a Dragonite. I just wish it was a Dragonite. Look at it. Let's see what level it is. I'm saying a thousand. I'm saying a level thousand dragon now. So, oh, look at the legendary birds. There they are in the register. And 743, so not a thousand, but uh, not too bad. And uh, that's a new Pokemon, so I'll take the new Pokemon bonus. We are not very far from level 23, and that's for sure. You guys get it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, nice. And nice. There's also a tentacle. Oh, wait up, wait up, wait up. Oh. Tap the egg for us, guys. What are we going to oh. get? I think it's a 2K, so we want Charmander if it is a 2K. Come on. Right. Charmander. Oh. Spiro. It's not exactly a Zubat, so I'll take a Spiro. <laughs> I'll cool. take it. Alrighty, what a day. The curse of the Ash Catchem hat, man. I tell you, it is real. We chatted to every local here, and they were saying it is normally every day you'll walk around, you catch six Pikachus on the way in and out. So uh, either the nests have like completely changed, because even the Kangaskhan one, he wasn't even coming up with any Kangas. So it's going to be an interesting couple of days to find out maybe if the nests have changed, or if it's just a weekend kind of thing, because it's Saturday today. And there's just no Pikachu. So anyway, I hope you guys did go and enjoy this episode. Unfortunately, like I said, we didn't set out for our original goal, but we did get a Dragonair. And even though it wasn't the highest CP level, it's still a new Pokemon and it's pretty goddamn awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Later, guys.